Hello world and hello people of the Ivory Coast. It's a new day, it's a new daily challenge. Let's see what we can do today. I saw in the top uh, 25, my friend is in there. And like we don't talk very often lately, but um, it's nice that I saw him there. Now, how did he get this round? Because I'm not very sure. Uh, we, are, we are driving on the left, so could this be Thailand or to here? Oh, okay, no, that's like Indonesia, right? Not so sure. Pahang, Jerantut. I think that's Indonesia, but um, I wouldn't know where exactly. Maluku. Let's keep going just a little bit. Or where do we drive on the left in Indonesia? Now I'm again confused. Or could we be in Kuala Lumpur, in, in uh, Malaysia? I am leaning a bit more towards Malaysia, but... Um, not so sure. Cars are interesting. Not too sure what to make of this round. See if we can find some sign on the road that tells us where we are. I am I am a bit lost. <coughs> Is this a flag? I think, yeah, okay, so we're in Malaysia. These are Malaysian flags. Now, I don't know where Pahang is. Let's click somewhere. Should we go close to Kuala Lumpur? Let's go around here, maybe. Well, that's probably a bit too big. Mm, okay, so we are in Malaysia with those Malaysian flags, but... Should I go more inland? Kuala Krai Tanamil. Okay. Not too bad. Well, I was thinking of clicking around here. I should have done that, but... Um, okay, right here. Gerantut. We weren't here, come on. Really? <laughs> was the whole city in front of us? Okay. Good score, anyway. And now we are in, well, Latin America. And I see a Bolivian flag right here. Or is it, no, it's not Bolivian, it's Mexican. And I somehow switched road, uh, which I don't really want to. So let's go back. Okay, so it's a Mexican flag now. El Tigre Junior. Zona Urbana. Okay, so we are entering some city or the urban area. Now, Ciudad Chilampancingo. Okay. Phew. Is that a big city? I've never heard of it. Chilampancingo. Here it is. Ah, Guerrero is uh, the state, apparently. Okay. So we are entering, say, from the south ish. There was a bridge here. Uh, 
Where's the sign above us? Where's the sign? I oh, hear this. Oh, it, it wasn't above us. Okay, so to our south is. Well, I guess I don't really have to look for those. I'd say we are just. Okay, wait. So the road. Is it very much? Uh, is it this one or is it this one? Hmm, not too sure. Just unfortunate because we could get a good score here, but. I guess I could look for this. So if I'm going further to the south, okay, I would say we are on this road down here. Around this bridge, maybe? And we were on the one above. Come on. And it was here this small overpass for people. Okay. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, but we missed on the perfect score for two points. Unfortunate. <sighs> um, now let's see. Hmm, I'm a bit confused. Mostly because of the color of these houses. Because like, as soon as I started, I was thinking, okay, we've got, got Cyrillic. As soon as we started, I got some strong like Norway vibes or something like that. Or maybe even Iceland. But the houses aren't this colored there. So I got very confused. So and now that we saw Cyrillic, my pretty much second thought got uh, confirmed a bit more. But still, ah, that doesn't mean it's Russia, you know. It, this weird red sign with the white arrows doesn't doesn't look too Russian to me but then again I don't know Let's see Lesnoe Ukolovo <laughs> what does that where where is that even supposed to be is that a, no these are just arrows no, no, they're not even arrows, it's a bus station. Is there a point in going in here? There are quite some houses in the distance here again. But I don't think this is worth my time. Hmm, yeah, seems a bit like a waste of time. Maybe this sign is something. Probably not. No. Mm. There isn't anything that really tells me. We have the cross. So I am leaning towards Russia, but um, save the uh, like close to the Ukraine, I would say. dash in this direction real quick. I don't see anything though. Maybe that car would have been useful. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a guess. No clue. Okay. Ah, Krasnoya. We saw that we saw Krasnoya on the 
blue sign there, but I didn't know that it's a place. And even then, it's tiny, you see. And Lesnoye Ukolova, I think that was also, yeah, that was on the white sign, of course. Okay. Good guess, I suppose. And now we are in the US. No. Okay, so that's Finland, pretty sure. Could be Sweden. I've. Oh, okay, never mind, because in the middle of Finland is this Yuva Skula. So to our south, to our south, yeah, that makes sense. I was my first thought was U.S. because of the the image quality. It's a bit bleak, a bit old, and that's usually the case in like rural U.S. Okay, so Pulkila. Now it's a bit hard to judge the distances on this map but let's see let's see if we can't find Pulkila not too good okay this is 270 kilometers so let's say around here-ish. Let's just click so we have something and then I'll keep going. What is this for though? Is it just the red for, I mean, there's a the red 13, but isn't the red for just the, a different name for the E75? I think that's what it is. which I've lost now here. Okay, I've spent a lot of time just doing nothing. Um, let's keep going in this direction. Maybe we will find on our right-hand side something as well. Since those guys got one on the left, maybe we can get one here on the right. Doesn't look like it. You know, it would have been helpful to sort of judge the kilometers, but doesn't look like it, so it's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, it doesn't look like it at all. That's, that's a parking spot. Yeah, okay, that's a bit screwed. Could this be good distance? Maybe a bit further south. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's actually way up north. Pulkila here is a burger place or something. This is Pulkila. Maybe. I mean, it doesn't say it, but I guess that's as close as it gets. Bit unfortunate. Yeah, I did click way too close, I suppose. Okay, let's do the last round. Is this... Are these Asians? Oh, they're not, right? I can't make out the country here. Make out or make up? I don't know, I'm a bit confused. But I can't tell which country we're in. Mm. But we are in South America. Oh, it doesn't continue here, this way. It does from the back road, okay. Can we not go up? Okay, well then, let's enter the city. I see the colors of... Colombia or Ecuador? I think I'm seeing more Ecuador than Colombia, but... 
a bit tough. I'm gonna click around here and just keep going. Parochial doesn't mean anything. I mean, not uh, anything relevant. Okay, this won't help. Let's go the other way. Oh, the street view is so messed up here. There's a sign here. Maybe this can be useful. Tharuma. Where is Tharuma? Hmm. I don't know if it's Ecuador or Colombia, that sucks. But I do feel like this is Ecuador and not Colombia, but uh, yeah, should I even try to find it? Come on, tell me the country, please. Nope. Just telling us thanks for the visit. Yep. Eh, I have no clue. <laughs> okay, I saw this and I thought it's here, but... Wow, that's tiny. <laughs> Bit unfortunate there. But uh, we got a good score anyway. And okay, so my friend's 27th, I'm 39th. Beat me for 500 points. Okay, not too bad. Well then, um, that's it for me. That's it for today. If you liked uh, the video, give it a like. If you played the challenge, of course, leave, of course, leave a comment below telling your score. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.